everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Dovey and today I'm going to show you how to make this pennant banner in Photoshop and I am using Photoshop CC uh, 2017 but this should work in any version of Photoshop and if you'd like to see how I made this then continue watching. To get started you will go up to the file menu and you will select new and I'm going to have the width and height to be set at 6 inches by 6 inches, resolution at 300, and the background as transparent. And I'm going to select Create. And I am going to um, name this layer as String. I'm just going to scroll in a bit to where I can see the um, image a bit better on my screen here. So I am going to select um, my pen tool and I'm going to go up here to fill and make sure that the white box with the red line being um, the red line slashed through it because that means no fill and the stroke I am going to have set at black. That way you can see it on the transparent background. Now, I am just going to um, s make sure my pen tool is selected still and left click and to make my first, um, you see the little square there? And then I'm going to come over here, make, let's make, I'm going to bring down a guide just to make sure that I am even here. And I'm going to click right here. You're going to left click and just drag your mouse to be the shape of a banner string. And I think that's about good there. And I'm just going to um, let go of my mouse button and it will make a line. Let me just bring that. Okay, so I am just going to create another layer and I am going to bring that below the string and just name that BG for like background. I'm going to just kind of center my string into the middle of the screen and to do that I'm just going to make sure the string is selected. I'm going to hold down my shift button and move that over. Okay, and I'm going to select enter. Now I want to add um, some pennants onto this. So I'm going to go to my shape tool. I'm going to go back up here to the fill menu and I'm going to select a color. And I'm going to select purple. Um, stroke I am going to turn off. And then the shape I am going to go to the triangle and use the triangle and double click. And then I'm just going to drag out my triangle. And I don't want it to be upside down, so I'm going to hit Control T on Windows. And I'm going to go up here to Edit, Transform, and then Flip Vertical and select Enter. And then I'm just going to create a few others. And just start placing them on my, by rotating them and placing them on my string. I'm actually going to bring my string layer and bring it to the very top layer into my palette there. That way we can just continue on and adding the um, pinnets to it. And you can move these around with your arrow keys, just kind of make sure that they're even. And then to select, make a new shape, you will just hold your, control, your alt button down and then drag over with your left mouse button, click down and create a new shape. And just continue to rotate around, like rotate your um, little triangles 
and set them how you would like them to be set on your string there. And if you feel like the string is just a bit too wide, you can always click that string layer and then click your shape tool and select the point at the top left hand of the screen and hit enter and it will make the string just a bit smaller and if we select it at two points enter um, I hit the V button which is um, the move tool and I'm going to arrow down and just kind of bring my string back on top of those now um, you don't want your banner to be all one color or if you do that's fine but I'm going to make these um, just a different color so I'm going to select the second triangle on my um, banner there and come over here to the layers palette and double click on the little square and just make it a different color and I'm going to do that the same for all of the other ones that's pretty and then I'm going to make this one pink and just go use the, th the three different colors Of course, your string is usually white, but for the purposes of this video tutorial, I do have it black. Um, but to change that string color, you would just click the string layer. And since it is just the shape of a stroke, since it's just actually the stroke of a shape, you um, aren't able to just double click the little square on the layers palette. You actually have to come up here to layer and then put select new fill layer and then select solid color and we're going to turn that white and select OK and then you want to clip that color fill color onto the string and how to clip it um, I push down my alt button as I'm, I highlight the color fill then I push my alt button and I put my mouse in between the two layers and then I left click and it will um, make turn that string to be white. I don't know if you can see that but let me um, change my background layer. I'm going to fill that with gray so you can see that. Oh, now you, I'm sorry, I turned it purple. Let me change that to gray so you can actually see. Let me just make that a bit lighter. There. So now you can see that it has a white string and that is how you make a pennant banner in Photoshop make patterns on your um, pennants also and in order to um, make a sh pattern on it you of course already have to have that pattern installed but you would actually right double click you would double click the shape layer and you would come down to pattern overlay and you would find your pattern that you would want to use um, let's see, so here's polka dots. I have polka dots. Double click that and I'm going to scale that layer down to make polka dots and that's at 17 percent there. Um, and let me just um, do that for, do every other one with polka dots. Pattern overlay, 17 percent. So that is how you make a pennant banner. I'm going to go ahead and just crop up um, some of this screen here. I don't need all of that excess there. And also I'm going to turn off, um, you can actually group these together. You can group all your um, pennants together by selecting all your pennant shapes and then just selecting Control G or right click. And I'm just going to name these pennants and I'm going to just turn this background layer off and I'm going to save this as a PSD file and I'm going to name this pennant banner and I'm going to make sure that it's set to PSD which it is and then I'm going to select save now um, I'm going to actually get rid of that background layer I'm going to save this now as a PNG file but I don't want all this excess um, background still for my PNG file so I'm going to just go ahead and make that just a bit 
smaller crop off all that wasted space there. And I'm going to select the check mark. And now saving it as a PNG file, we will go up to File and Save As and select PNG and the drop down menu. If it's saved as a PNG file, you'll, you can't change the colors on it. That's why I saved it as a PSD file. That way you can, um, you know, you can um, open that PSD file and then make changes on it. Um, but a PNG file you cannot, but it will save it to a transparent background for you. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, then give it a thumbs up. Um, just go ahead and subscribe down below and that way you won't miss any of my new tutorials and also if you have any tutorial ideas um, for Photoshop on what you would like to see go ahead and comment down below and always thank you for watching bye